Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at our final version of the existential fallacy. This is going to be the existential fallacy for syllogisms. This is probably also going to be our last Fallacy February video for quite some time. At least it's going to be probably be the last video in the 100 Days of Logic. So, the existential fallacy for syllogisms is going to be a fallacy for rule number five of categorical syllogisms. That is going to be, if both premises are universal, the conclusion cannot be particular. We remember that rule five only really applies to bool. The boolean version of this existential fallacy is going to be whenever rule five is broken. However, the Aristotelian version is going to be when rule five is broken and the critical term in that syllogism does not exist. We remember critical term means the term that's superfluously distributed. In this first example, S is the critical term, and in the other example, M is the critical term. If you want more information on this, check out my video on Rule 5. For now, let's take a look at some examples. So, figure 1, A, A, I. All tubas are brass instruments. All brass instruments are musical instruments. Therefore, some tubas are musical instruments. The red terms are the terms that are distributed. It's going to commit the existential fallacy for bool because I is a particular statement and both of our A's are universal. However, because tubas exist and tubas is the superfluously distributed critical term, it's going to be valid for Aristotle. Figure 2 EAO, on the other hand, no gorillas or lizards. All dragons are lizards. Therefore, some dragons are not gorillas. Is going to commit the existential fallacy for bool because O is particular and E and A are going to be universal. However, it's also going to commit the existential fallacy for Aristotle. Why? Because dragons is going to be our critical term because it's not the middle term, so it doesn't need to be distributed, and it's not distributed in the conclusion. It's going to be superfluously distributed. It doesn't exist, so it's going to commit the existential fallacy for Aristotle as well. That was the existential fallacy. Also check out all five rules for categorical syllogisms and stay tuned for the final ten days of logic coming up next at here at carnades.org. Stay skeptical, everybody.